one girl, one voice, one chance to make a difference. Watch Willow fight to save her park in this inspiring story. So, let's embark on our today's narrative journey. The city was a concrete jungle, a place where towering skyscrapers scraped the sky, and the only rustling leaves belonged to plastic plants in office lobbies. Twelve-year-old Willow, with her wild mane of brown hair, and eyes the color of moss, felt like a misplaced wildflower in this urban sprawl. Unlike other kids glued to their phones, Willow spent her free time in the one remaining patch of green, a scraggly community park. It wasn't much, but for Willow, it was a secret haven. One sunny afternoon, as Willow perched on a gnarled oak branch, a strange feeling washed over her. It was like a whispering in the breeze, a soft murmur, that tickled her ears. Frowning, she strained to listen. Was it her imagination running wild again? Suddenly, the murmur grew clearer, a low, melodic hum that seemed to vibrate through the very branch she sat on. Welcome, young one. The voice resonated in her mind, not with words, but with a feeling, a sensation of warmth and welcome. Willow's jaw dropped. Speechless, she stared at the ancient oak, its leaves rustling gently as if in confirmation. Tentatively, Willow reached out and touched the rough bark. A surge of energy pulsed through her fingertips, a connection unlike anything she'd ever felt. Taking a deep breath, she closed her eyes and focused on the voice. Hello? She whispered, her voice barely audible. The response was immediate a comforting wave of understanding. Greetings, child of the earth. We have been waiting for you. Willow's heart pounded in her chest. She could talk to trees? This was out of the blue, but the feeling wasn't scary. It was peaceful, like a secret whispered between friends. Over the next few weeks, Willow spent every free moment in the park, honing her newfound ability. She learned that the trees weren't just silent giants, they were a network of ancient wisdom, their roots, whispering tales of forgotten times. They shared stories of a world before concrete, a world teeming with life. One day, the trees' voices grew heavy with worry. They spoke of a concrete jungle creeping closer, threatening to swallow the last remaining park. Willow's heart ached. These trees were her friends, her teachers, and they were in danger. Determined to help, Willow knew she had to spread the word. She started by talking to her classmates, sharing stories of the talking trees and the beauty of the natural world. At first, they didn't believe her, but Willow's passion was contagious. Soon, other kids were curious drawn to the whispers of the park. United by a common cause, the kids hit the ground running. They designed eye-catching posters and flyers, plastered all over town with the message, Save Our Park. They organized a Save Our Park rally, determined to make some noise and get the community's attention. Willow, the heart and soul of the movement, spoke to the crowd, weaving tales of the talking trees. Her words were like a shot in the arm, reminding people of the forgotten beauty of the natural world. Even the local news station, initially on the fence, decided to give it a shot and cover the story. Slowly, the tide began to turn. People who had been stuck in their ways, used to the concrete jungle, started to see the light, realizing the importance of green spaces in their lives. In the end, the park was saved. The city council even allocated funds to plant more trees, creating a green corridor throughout the city. Willow, the girl who could talk to trees, had become a voice for nature, proving that even a single voice, no matter how small, can make a difference. Congratulations on completing the girl who talked to trees! 
Your dedication to learning English is impressive. Let's revisit the keywords and phrases from our story to help them stick. A quick refresher to boost your English skills. Number 1. Concrete jungle, a city or urban area with many large buildings and low greenery. Number 2. Skyscrapers, tall buildings that scrape the sky. Number 3. Scraped, to touch or rub against something harshly. Number 4. Rustling, a soft, muffled crackling sound like that made by leaves or paper. Number 5. Lobbies, the entrance halls or areas in buildings. Number 6. Main, long, thick hair, often used to describe wild or unruly hair. Number 7. Moss, small, green, non-flowering plants that grow in damp areas. Number 8. Wildflower, a flower that grows naturally in the wild, without cultivation. Number 9. Urban sprawl, the uncontrolled expansion of urban areas. Number 10. Bluetooth, completely absorbed or involved in something. Number 11. Patch, a small area of something different from its surroundings. Number 12. Scraggly, irregular, thin, or untidy in appearance. Number 13. Haven, a place of safety or refuge. Number 14. Perched, sitting or resting in a high or precarious position. Number 15. Gnarled, knobbly, rough, and twisted, especially with age. Number 16. Washed over, a feeling or emotion that suddenly affects someone strongly. Number 17. Whispering, speaking very softly using one's breath without vocal cords. Number 18. Murmur, a soft, indistinct sound made by a person or group of people speaking quietly. Number 19. Tickled, to touch lightly so as to cause laughter or a tingling sensation. Number 20. Frowning, contracting the brow in displeasure or concentration. Number 21. Strained, to make a strenuous or great effort. Number 22. Imagination running wild, allowing one's thoughts and fantasies to go unchecked. Number 23. Melodic hum, a tuneful, continuous sound. Number 24. Vibrate, to move rhythmically and steadily. Number 25. Resonated, to produce or be filled with a deep, full, reverberating sound. Number 26. Dropped, to fall or descend. Number 27. Speechless, unable to speak, especially as a result of strong emotion. Number 28. Rustling gently, a soft, light sound made by the movement of leaves or paper. Number 29. Confirmation, the action of confirming something or the state of being confirmed. Number 30. Tentatively, in a way that lacks confidence, hesitantly. Number 31. Surge, a sudden powerful forward or upward movement. Number 32. Pulsed, throb rhythmically. Number 33. Fingertips, the tips of the fingers. Number 34. Focused on, to concentrate attention or effort. Number 35. Whispered, spoke very softly using one's breath without vocal cords. Number 36. Ache, to have a continuous or prolonged dull pain. Number 37. Contagious, spread from one person to another by direct or indirect contact. Number 38. United by common cause, brought together by a shared goal or purpose. Number 39. Hit the ground running, to begin a task with enthusiasm and vigor. Number 40. Eye-catching, immediately appealing or noticeable. Number 41. Plastered, to cover a surface thickly. Number 42. Heart and soul, the central or most essential part. Number 43. Shot in the arm, something that boosts one's spirits or energy. Number 44, on the fence, undecided or unsure. Number 45, give it a shot, to try something. Number 46, stuck in their ways, resistant to change or new ideas. Number 47, see the light, to understand or realize something clearly. If you learned some new words or laughed along the way, smash that like button. And for more stories that will help you rock your English skills, don't forget to subscribe. Check out the video on screen for more fun ways to learn English. See you next time.